Okay, here we have a trig problem. Um, we're going to solve this for the range where naught is less than or equal to theta, theta, less than or equal to 360 degrees. So let's change this so it's all in terms of sine and cos, because we can't relate cot and sine. So we know that cot equals cos theta over sine theta, and that equals to sine theta. Now we're going to times for out by sine theta, so times this side by sine theta because we want to get rid of the fraction. And that gives us 2 sine squared theta. Now we know we want to try and get this all in coses because we can, with the sine squared we have a relationship between sine and cos. But with just the cos we don't have a relationship. So we're going to use 1 minus cos squared here. So 3 cos theta equals 2 open brackets 1 minus cos squared theta. So that gives us 3 cos theta equals 2 minus 2 cos squared theta. Now let's take it all onto the left hand side. So let's take away 2 and add 2 cos squared theta. So we get 2 cos squared theta plus 3 cos theta minus 2 equals naught. So we've taken the 2 away from here. So take away from here to get this 2. Add the minus 2 cos squared theta, and we end up with 2 cos squared theta on this side. Now let's see if we can factorise this. So what have we got? We have got um, I'm going to 2 cos theta over here, and a cos theta here. We can't. We've got to have these two times together to give us 2 cos squared theta. Now we're going to have minus 1 and 2, or one uh, minus 1 and 2. Well, we want to get 3, so the 2 times the 2 will give us 4. And we put minus 1, minus 1 times cos will make it 3. So we see we got that. So therefore, either 2 cos theta equals 1. That makes all of this bracket 0. Or cos theta equals minus 2. Well, this has no solutions. This one here. So there's no solutions to cos theta equals minus 2. So therefore, we're going to have to solve cos 2 cos theta equals 1. That therefore means cos theta, if we take that all up there, equals a half. Now, if we inverse cos that, so we find inverse cos of a half, we find that theta will equal 60 degrees. Put that into your calculator and you get 60 degrees. You should know that. You ought to know that off by heart. So with this diagram here, we know that if you label this all STC, this gives you where the positive the quadrants. This being 0 degrees here, 90, 180, 270, and that brings us back to 360. If you're going the opposite direction, then you're going to go minus 90, minus 180, minus 270, minus 360. But as we're only doing 0 to 360, we can just leave it like this. So our first answer we got was 60 degrees. So there's your 60 degrees. And that gives us our first answer. Now, that's where they're all positive. We're dealing with cos and cos is positive. Cos is a half. Cos theta equals a half. So therefore, we just draw a line straight down to the cos quadrant. And it, we know that's going to be 60 because of, um, because of our angle rules. All right. We've got the symmetry. That will be 60. Now, there is 0 and 360. If we're going backwards in 360, 60 off that will give us 300 here. And we've got 60 there. So our next angle is 300. So we can't see any other answers. Um, there's no positive cos here. Only tan is positive. Only sine is positive. So these are the only two places that cos will appear in this quadrant. So we've got the 300 here corresponding to this answer. And we've got the 60 here corresponding to this answer.